this algebra nation video will cover the right side of page 50 problem number 10 part a part b and i do believe part c as if four is added to a number and that sum is doubled the result is five more than the number okay some key words are really popping out at me let's see if they're the same ones popping out at you okay add it we know what adding means right Adding means addition. Sum. When are we talking about a sum? We talk about sums when you're adding two things together. The sum of the amount of money that I have in my pocket and you have in your pocket is what? Well, the amount of money that I have in mine plus the amount that you have in yours. If I have $5 in my pocket and you have $4 in your pocket, the sum would be 5 plus 4. It would be $9. All right, so we're adding something together, doubled. Doubled is what? Multiplied. Okay. The result is what? We're saying something is equal to something else. So right there, we know we're going to be dealing with an equal sign. Five more than a number. More than something means you have more of it. Five is being added to something. So let's start back at the beginning. Now that we see some important words, let's see what we've got. If four is added to a number. So four, just the number four. Four is being added to something. Four plus what? Plus a number. What's that number? Well, it's an unknown value. That's going to be the variable that we want to solve for. We want to figure out what that number is equal to. So for now, let's just call it x. If we add four plus x, we add those two together, what do we have? We've got a sum. Four plus x. If four is added to a number, and that sum, well, that sum, what sum is it saying? It's saying that sum over there. What sum? The sum of 4 and x. So that sum of 4 and x, this entire quantity, is doubled. Doubled means what? That we're multiplying by 2. If I have $5, I have $5 in my pocket, and the amount is doubled, how much do I have? $10. I have twice as much as being doubled. So we are doubling the sum. We are multiplying the entire sum by 2. We're multiplying this entire sum, that's 4 plus x, by 2. So we added 4 to a number. That sum is then doubled. This result that we just got is, is equal to 2 times 4 plus x is equal to 5 more than the number. So what's the number? x is equivalent to 5 more than x. Is 5 being added to x? Is 5 being subtracted from x? No, it's equal to 5 more than that number. We have that number, and we still have to add 5 to it. So that's what we get. We get 2, because we are doubling the sum, we are doubling the sum of 4 plus x. The result, the result of this is what? It's 5 more than the number. Well, the number, adding another 5. So, 2 times 4 plus x is equal to x plus 5. That's our equation. We took this really long sentence and made it into an equation. So, let's go ahead and solve for x. What's the first thing we need to do? I'm going to pause the video. You are going to solve that equation using the distributive property. Da, bears. That don't mock me. Tied for first place. They're on a resurgence. Yeah, buddy. You work this equation, and then we'll crank the video back up for letter B. BRB. Letter B. Seven times a number is added to three. Okay? So seven times a number added to three is equivalent to what? It's equivalent to the sum of 5 times the number added to 7. So let's see what we've got. 7 times a number is added to 3. So we have 3, and we're adding 7 times a number, right? We have 3. 7 times a number is then added to 3. What's being added to 3? 7 times a number. Well, what's that number? We don't know. Let's call it y. We did x time, let's do y this time. So, 7 times a number is being added 
to, a plus 7y is being added to 3. This is equivalent to. Equivalent to means what? It means it's equal to. It's equivalent to the sum. Ooh, sum is an important word. What are we talking about when we say the word sum? Things are being added together. So the sum of what? What are we adding together? 5 times the number added to 7. We're taking the sum of 5 times the number and 7. Sum means add them together. That's our sum. So, the sum of 5 times the number. Well, 5 times the number mean you have the number multiplied by 5. Well, the number, which we call y, multiplied by 5 is 5y. That is being added to 7. It's being added to 7. A positive 5y plus 7 gives us 5y plus 7. We just set up our equation. Now what do we need to do? Yep. Now we need to pause the video. You need to solve the equation. Uh, combine like terms, inverse operation. It's too bad you didn't say all those vocabulary words. You solve the equation. Then we'll come back and take a little bit of a brain break. BRB. Make sure you pass the EOC in May. Otherwise, you end up like this guy. That's just disturbing. Letter C. Then 3 times a number is equal to 8 more than twice that number. This one's tough, so let's really look at this. Where is our equal sign going to be? Well, we're told that something, this long thing, is equal to this long piece. Okay, so we know where our equal sign is going to be. That's our equal sign. Well, what's on the left side of our equation? 4 less than something. 4 less than something. Okay, less than what? Well, 3 times a number. Let's call that number x. We don't know what that number is. So if I have 3 times a number, am I multiplying that number by 3? Am I dividing by 3? If I have 3 times as much money than you, how much do I have? The amount of money that you have multiplied by 3. So, 3x... Right? 3 times a number is the same thing as saying 3x. And what are we doing? We're saying 4 less than that. 4 less than 3 times that number. When we say 4 less than something, are we adding 4 or are we subtracting 4? If you have $10 and I tell you that I have $4 less than you, how would we figure out how much money I have? Well, if you take your $10, if I have $4 less, take that 10 minus 4. I would have $6. $6 is 4 less than 10. It's 4 less than what you have. So if I'm saying I have 4 less of something, I'm subtracting 4. So 4 less than what? 4 less than 3x. 3x minus 4. 4 less than 3x. I'm taking my 3x, that 3 times the number, subtracting 4. Now that value, that 3x minus 4, is equal to 8 more than what? Eight more. Well, if when we had less, we subtracted. What do we think more means? Adding. We're going to have a positive. We're adding eight to something. Eight more than what? Eight more than what? Eight more than twice that number. Twice that number would be what? 2x. Eight more than 2x. We have 2x, and we're adding eight. So you could write this as 3x minus 4 equals 2. 2x, and we have 8 more than that 2x. We have twice the number, that's your 2x. 8 more than that, you're adding 8. 8 plus 2x is the same thing as 2x plus 8. It's just written in a different direction, but it means the same thing. All right, so now that we have our equation set up, we're ready to go. Let's 
too bad you didn't say combine like terms. When you move one term to the other side, you do the inverse operation. Divide by the coefficient. Stop, bears. After you finish working out the equation, make sure the crazy math teacher checks it off on the clipboard. See ya.